What's up, movie crew? Welcome to the latest Let's Stream or even Let's Review. Today, I am talking about the latest installment to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas Special. Before I get into this, if you are new to this channel, my name is Luke, this is Let's Watch a Movie, and if you're in anything cinema and physical media related, you've come to the right place, so hit that subscribe button. All right. So, spoiler alert for those that have not watched Infinity War and Endgame. You've been warned. If you have not seen either of those movies, you might want to see them before you go into this review. Anyway. Starts off with, it's close to the Christmas season, and Quill is still kind of down over the fact that the Gamora that is now in the current timeline is not the same Gamora that he was pretty much involved with at this point. On top of that, it's believed that he's not a big fan of the Christmas season. So, Mantis and Drax decide that they are going to give him the best Christmas ever, and they find, they remember that he is a fan of Kevin Bacon, and they try to go to Hollywood to get Kevin Bacon on their ship so Peter can have an enjoyable Christmas. And that's when things go awry. As you can tell, this is a very, very crazy plot in itself. So I don't want to give anything away, and this is a special presentation like Werewolf at Midnight, and it's pretty much just that. You've got Quill who's upset, then you've got Mantis and Drax trying to find a way to make Quill feel better, and they go get Kevin Bacon. And if you've seen the trailer, you know that Kevin Bacon is not into the idea of two aliens at his front door wanting to put him on a spaceship. So the pros to this thing. This is definitely a standout in the MCU. Now, I know a lot of people are a huge fan of the first Guardians movie and... James Gunn has been able to do stuff that's clearly his style, but still keep it within the confides of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and do the stuff that Kevin Feige wants him to do. He has been able to do that masterfully, and right here he does the same thing. You can definitely tell this is a James Gunn presentation, even though it is still... A Marvel Cinematic feat, well, special presentation. So kudos to James Gunn for still being able to do his own thing because that's something that a lot of us have criticized Marvel with in the past that a lot of the directors don't really get to bring their style and what they do to the MCU. And James Gunn and a couple others have been able to do that. And James Gunn's been able to continue doing that. This is also a very lighthearted thing, which was really good, especially given that the last thing we got was Wakanda Forever, where they had to deal with the death of T'Challa, which was done because of the real-life passing of Chadwick Boseman. So the fact that we got something lighthearted after that was good. It was definitely necessary after what we got with Wakanda Forever. My cons with this, you're not going to see all of the Guardians in here. Like, you're going to see them, but not everyone gets a spotlight like they would normally get in the movies. The main ones I mentioned were... Peter, 
Drax, and Mantis. Anyone outside of those three, they're still in it. But they're not in it as much as everyone else. Another plus I gotta say is Kevin Bacon was awesome playing a fictionalized version of himself. There's a scene where when he finally meets another person in the Guardians who's trying to like talk him off the ledge and it's like everyone thinks that we're good to go and then he runs screaming. It was great. And the scene leading up to, hopefully this isn't too much of a spoiler, but I'll put something in the description to let people know there's a mild spoiler. When Mantis and Drax first show up to Hollywood to find Kevin Bacon, they're seeing people dressed up as all these movie characters, as, all of, as some of the characters from the MCU. And Manta sees someone dressed as Captain America and just goes, Steve! And tries to run up and hug him, not realizing that that is not Captain America. It was funny. And unlike our last special presentation, this one does have a post credit scene. It is not necessary to the plot but I would very much recommend everyone checking it out. It is one of the funniest scenes I have seen in a while. So definitely check it out. And to those that aren't necessarily MCU fans, if you're a fan of a bunch of the 80s Christmas movies, you should still give this a watch because it pretty much follows the same formula as some of those. You have someone being upset around Christmas, someone wanting to try and make it a good Christmas for that person, things just blowing up in that person's face, but somehow, some way, things still come together in the end. And it was done very well. My final score for Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas Special I'm going to have to give this a 4 out of 5. It was one of the funnier things I've seen. It was enjoyable. I had laughs out of it. And I definitely recommend it for anyone that watches anything James Gunn has done outside of Guardians. If you're an MCU fan, you definitely need to watch it. And if you like 80s Christmas movies, watch it. It's good. And the last thing I want to say is directly for James Gunn. I have no idea if you're ever going to see this, but I'm going to try anyway. To James Gunn, I want to personally say thank you. In the two weeks prior to the release of Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special, I had to say goodbye to two of my childhood heroes. And this was the first time that I genuinely laughed at something in a good two weeks. So thank you for getting someone like myself who was upset and I was, I'm not even much of a Christmas person either, to laugh at something, even at something I wouldn't normally watch. So thank you for that. And that's going to do it for this one. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. You like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below, have you seen the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special? What were your thoughts? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy 3? But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and tune in next time.